guys, it's Miss Burkhalter and I have missed you so much. And today I'm going to read you a book because we haven't got to read a book together in so long. I'm going to read Z is for Moose. Is Z for Moose? M is for Moose. And I think in our story that this Moose is going to cause a lot of trouble. So what do we do, and you can show your parents how much you know, before we read a book, what do we talk about? We talk about who wrote the book, right? And if Kelly Bigham wrote the book, who is she? She's the author, the author writes the words. And if Paul Zelensky, he drew the pictures, what do we call him? The illustrator, good job. And then we go over the parts of our book. What do we call this? The front cover, the back cover, and the spine. And when we open our book, we can flip a page or two and we find the title page. And what does the title page tell us? The same thing as the front cover, the title the author and the illustrator. And just a little bit more. Right. A is for apple. B is for ball. C is for cat. D is for Moose, moose, no, moose does not start with D. You are on the wrong page. I told y'all that moose was gonna cause trouble. E is for elephant, look out. Oh, sorry, there goes that moose. So while we're here, D is not for moose. We said M was for moose. Do you think of a word that starts with D? F is for fox. G is for glove. L is for, is it my turn yet? No, now move off the page. Jeez, Moose. What is L for? Can you think of a word that starts with L? I is for ice cream. And there's that sneaky moose. He's saying, now, now is it my turn? J is for jar. Now, you see the moose? Now, he's impatient. K is for kangaroo. Now, mommy, who is that? Do you see that moose in the mama kangaroo's pouch with the baby kangaroo? L is for lollipop. There's the moose, he's saying, here it comes. M is for mouse. What? He's so confused because M is for mouse, but what else is M for? are hurt. His feelings are hurt. Wait, no, that was supposed to be me. <laughs> Moose with an M. I'm sorry, we decided to go with the mouse this time. Down here it says N is for needle. That poor Moose. Well, now he's just caused a bunch of chaos. Burkhalter's going to have to reset the set because baby Dalton is pulling the tablecloth. Look at the chaos that that moose has caused. Look at him. He's mad. And there's the queen. Q is for queen and she's saying, well, I never. And down here we have an owl. He's saying, who? It's just a mess. He is angry. 
R is for ring. But Moose has crossed it out and wrote moose. Not moose. S is for snake. But Moose crossed it out and wrote moose. And the zebra is telling him, stop it. T is for truck. And there's a zebra. He's trying to save the truck. U is for umbrella. But you can see that moose, he's knocking it down. Is that the way to behave when you're angry about something? No. You destroy things when we're angry. V is for violin. There, there's a sniffle up here because I think the moose is crying. W is for whale. And there's a sob. He's crying, poor moose. Um, moose. Boo hoo. X is for xylophone. Y is for yo yo. But here's the zebra. He's feeling so bad for the moose and he's saying, You can be in the book. And the moose says, I can't. It's too late. All that's left is Z. And then the zebra is taking him to the next page. It says, come on. Let's see what that zebra has planned. Can we do that again? Yes, moose. We can do that again. So they're going to let moose be in the book this time. I hope you all like that book. It's one of my favorite books. It's so fun to read. And I miss you all. And hopefully I'll get to see you very soon.